Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? TikTok, YouTube, how y'all doing? Beautiful day out here. We're in southern Indiana. The chill finally left the air a little bit, so I figured, you know what? I might as well get out there with the camera and do a little bit of filming and talk about some of the questions we get asked a lot here on these cabins. So one of the questions we get asked is those walls that those cabins are made of, are they solid wood? And yes, they are. As you can see here, it's stacked all the way from the bottom all the way up. And these are uh, four by six timber. Okay, so these are four by six timber stacked all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. And in between, you have that chinking in between that seals the cabin to make sure your cabin is efficient energy-wise for your heat and air. So all that heat and air is not just escaping outside of the walls. And we do put your standard fiberglass insulation uh, underneath the metal roof and uh, in the subfloor. And remember guys, you can always upgrade your insulation if need be, if you need to beef up your insulation, okay? We do use, another question we get asked a lot is, um, are your windows double pane windows with the argon glass? And yes, they are. They're also the easy clean windows as well. So they kind of pop down and slide up, slide out so you can clean them. What's another question we get asked a lot? We get asked, uh, oh yeah, what kind of roof do you put on there? What kind of roof system do you put? Well, as you can see, we do that metal roof. We got 12 different colors to choose from. We wanted to go with the metal roof because uh, we wanted something that's going to be low maintenance. A lot of our customers are not looking for a high maintenance cabin. They're looking for a low maintenance cabin. So um, we go with the metal roof on that. This one has a black roof on it. As you can see next door, the little cabin kit's got a hunter green roof. So lots of colors to choose from. Uh, let's keep going around here. Address some questions we get asked a lot here. Uh, another question we get asked is, how do you move these cabins clear across the country, right? Because we ship them all over the United States. And as you can see, uh, from that corner to this corner is 20 feet, okay? That's not going to fit on a flatbed trailer for us to bring it out to you. So what we do is, uh, you can't really see it very well, but if you look right here, the bottom of the porch is on a hinge system and folds up okay and as you can see here the top of the porch will fold down so it'll show up on your land like a big rectangle and we will disassemble all the um over here all these railings will be taken out all this will be taken out and then the screen in porch and all this is all taken out and that will arrive actually inside your cabin so that will arrive actually inside your cabin and there'll be a couple of guys that come with the delivery driver out to your land to reassemble all this back together. So when we leave your land, it looks just like what you see here. Fully assembled, Amish built cabin ready to go. So very, very um, popular questions that we get all the time. So I'm just trying to make sure I address those. Uh, as you can see, this this uh, window here comes off the bedroom. This is a one bed, one bath. You got a crank window right there. This is a 14 by 40. And this is the one we call El Chapo. And remember, this one is offered as a two bedroom as well, which would be a 14 by 48, okay? All right, pricing is on the website. Uh, the, the screened in porch, comes in five pieces so they're like panelized and once again these five pieces that make up the screen in porch will be inside the cabin when it arrives and we'll put it all back together like you see here before we leave your property okay another question that we get asked a lot of is is the porch swing included? No, it is not, but you can purchase the porch swing, which a lot of people do, for 375 bucks if you're interested in the porch swing. 
Some people love it, some people don't. But if you want a port swing, that is an option. Okay. Let's keep moving here. Let's see what other questions we get asked a lot here. Uh, another very popular question we get asked is, is the loft upstairs one that you can put a mattress in and sleep up there? I think most of y'all can probably tell by this angle that, that you cannot do that, okay? This is not a livable loft. This ladder is here to get up there and use this for extra storage, okay? This is the spot above the bathroom. It's great for extra storage, but it is not big enough for you to put a bed up there and somebody use that as a second bedroom, okay? So unfortunately, that is not an option, okay? Um, another question we get is, you know, this, this little nook right here is for a front loading washer and dryer. And some people are like, you know what? I don't have a front loading washer or dryer or ah, that's eating up too much space. I need to, you know, I just want to use half of it, uh, for a stackable washer and dryer. So what we'll do is if you notice right here, this is the bathroom, right? What a lot of people will do is they'll go ahead. And if you picture this space kind of cut in half, to the right here, you can put your stackable washer and dryer and we'll move this wall over so all this square footage on the left side goes into the bathroom. That way you get a bigger bathroom. It's not thin in the middle and then get wide in the back. The whole thing would be the same width, okay? So you get more square footage in your bathroom if you do it that way. So a lot of people like that option as well. Um, what else? Oh yeah, another another thing we get asked is, hey, if we, we don't like those two little closets in the bedroom, what can we do about that? No problem. Most people actually don't like this design. Originally, this right side was intended to be for like a mechanical room, for a water heater and such. And the left side is a little closet, right? Well, a lot of people are going to tankless water heaters because they're smaller and they save up on space. So because of that, you don't need a mechanical room, right? The uh, Most people are putting their tankless water heaters over here by where all the plumbing is going to be at with the washer and dryer on this side. So because of that, um, most people will make, they'll combine these two units together and make one big closet with a barn sliding door on the front, which I think is super cool. We've even had people do that same concept and put a half bath in here so they'll make these two one room barn sliding door and behind that they'll run the plumbing from underneath for a half bath okay so something else that we get asked a lot so i'm just really trying to address these questions we get asked a whole lot of with these uh with this structure okay we've also had people say hey you know um can we put french doors over here instead of the sliding screen doors. And yes, we can. So that's another question I get asked a lot, okay? And yet another question, what's another one we get asked a lot? Oh yeah, a lot of people are like, hey, can we leave the bottom of the cabinets the way they are, but take out the top? Because they have their own specific cabinets or something else, or they wanna put shelving up there, uh, open concept shelving, yes, we can. So if you don't like the cabinets the way they are, you just want the bottom and you don't want the top, we can do that, okay? A lot of people too, some people are like, hey, you know what? My uncle is a cabinet maker or we have a cabinet business. We don't need any of these cabinets. We want to do our own. Can you leave those out? Absolutely, absolutely. So lots of options, guys, here. Um, remember, this is just a model. So it's just like a starting point, right? You can modify your floor plan. No two people want the exact same floor plan. So everybody will kind of modify things a little bit, right? Um, to kind of fit their needs. So keep that in mind, right? And that is just a few questions we get asked on the regular. What's one more I can think of? Oh yeah, insulation. That's a big one, right? So let me address insulation. So it does come with some basic insulation underneath the wood panels, R19, okay, rating, underneath the subfloor, R9, right? 
And the walls are four by six inch thick, as I showed you earlier. Um, and wood has thermal mass, so it does hold heat very well, right? But on the ceiling, if you want to beef up that insulation, a lot of our customers up north, Montana, Vermont, you know, people that get, you know, Michigan, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and all that, you guys, it drops below zero out there, right? So they'll be like, hey, can we upgrade to a spray foam on the bottom subfloor? Can we upgrade to spray foam to increase the R factor in the sub in the ceiling? We can do all that, guys. We do charge a fee for that. So just make sure you ask us, say, I'm in Minnesota, I'm in Vermont, how much for the insulation upgrade? And then we'll let you know that. That way we can make sure we beef up your insulation uh, when we build your cabin. So when it gets out there, your cabin is gonna be nice and cozy for you, no matter how cold it gets. Okay, so these are just a few questions that we get a lot. So I figured I'd make this video to address them. And uh, hopefully that's helped you guys. Okay, my name's O.C. They call me the Cabin Cowboy. Uh, my phone number is 502-298-8946. And uh, once again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We are AmishBuiltCabins.com. You'll have a blessed day. And uh, come back and see me now. Take care, guys.